Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for AwesomeCast.net. Please check out our friends, uh, Bold Pittsburgh linked over there, Slice on Broadway, and all the rest. Black Blaze, get yourself backed up with Black Blaze over there as well. Help out the show and help out our friends that are supporting the show. Uh, but I want to get into a new app. Facebook is, you know, they're they're got all kinds of apps going on, you know, as as they have. And, and a new one on the block is uh, Riff. What is Riff? Think, uh, hey, everybody's getting into the video game these days. This is their version of it. Think of, uh, it's kind of Snapchat-y, uh, although not private. And uh, the idea is that you make videos with friends. Watch videos made by friends. Uh, again, squared off, everything like that. And the idea is I can start a video, and then other people can add on a video. Uh, I started one yesterday that was, hey, what you eating? And I was hoping maybe other people would hop in and say, hey, this is what I'm eating right now, you know, and have some fun with it. Um, I'm really interested in this idea for like, hey, pod camp, you know, or a big event. Say, hey, everybody download this app. We're trying to create a big riff. Uh, everybody take a little bit of video of what's going on. And at the end, you have this big video of everybody's view of what's going on over the event, over the weekend, whatever the case may be. This is where my brain's starting to go. Now, what is it really? What, does it, what How well does it work? Well, let's see here. Uh, so I got it here on my phone. So you guys might want to check out the video version. I'll try to notate a little bit. Nope, that's Periscope. Where'd I put it? One of these folders. One of these social folders. So funny looking app. I don't know if I care for the colors uh, so far. But uh, we get in here. And and we see, uh, first, this is one of my favorite ones, Adventure of the Banana. And it's got like 11 videos attached to it. And uh, as I go through here, uh, you know, we, I got what you eating, right? Uh, and I can add some video to it. Again, other people can add to it as well. And I think I can just add to any video. And it gives me some options. So you can check that out. And then uh, I can start a new video by hitting this up up here. And I'll type in my topic. This is I thought this was like, you know, this is a little miss informed because you get these little clouds of, of information topics right um but it really you need to hop to the top here and put in your title of what this video is going to be you title it before you start the video so but again i probably might work with the workflow of you know you're adding videos to this uh or later on or everybody else so you do start with this so i'm just going to hit munchies for now and just you know we're not going to post this or anything i don't think what's going on oh it's up at the top um I get a tweet. And you go three, two, one. And I'm going to flip that camera around so we can see something and actually a little bit. And now it's recording. And it, it like doesn't really give you. It like we're just recording right off the bat. You know, again, a really interesting workflow. And we see it's probably only about 10 seconds, I think it is. And then we pop in. And we have this. If we like it, we hit the check mark, and we're good to go. Or we retake it, and it asks, you know, do you want to share this with Facebook? So you do have the option of push, putting this on Facebook. But like I said, I don't think it's really clear on Facebook what this is, because if you go there, um, you get a video. It, it looks just like if uh, if you put an Instagram video on. It's just a video embedded in your in your page and in, in your timeline, and it does say made with Riff. But again, like it's not big enough. I feel like there needs to be some kind of splash, some kind of watermark explaining what the situation is. Uh, here is actually my my riff from yesterday. Again, what you eating? And I just took a picture of dinner. Yes, I did that thing. Um, you know, it's just sort of what you eating. And you can go in here and actually see that. And presumably there'd be more videos. Oh, and I can actually... Okay, so what it does, so you can replay the video, you can hit riff up there, or you can download the app. It actually brings it into their sort of app story thing, and you can download the app from there. Um, and it is on Google Play in the App Store, so I like that it is broadly available right off the bat. So you, uh, you know, versus Periscope and Meerkat, it's I have a lot of Android friends, and it's like, well, it's great you can use that, buddy. You know, <laughs> um, I have another tip for that that maybe I'll share as well. Um, but uh, anyways. You know, let me know what you think of this. Is this something you think you'll be using? I think there's a lot of pitfalls in this that's going to keep this from taking off, but I love the idea. We've had other apps like this in the past that we've played with. I know uh, at certain events, uh, Norm Hillsman uh, with PodCamp and I have I've played with it a little bit. Uh, again, that kind of group video idea, but you know, again, getting everybody adopted and figuring out how everybody connects is a problem. And, uh, and I don't know that Riff has solved it. Let me know what you think of the app. And if you make anything with Riff, 
please let me know. Hit me up at AwesomeCast at Sorgatron. I want to see what you're doing with this. Maybe you've uh, wrapped your head around this better than I have and give me your thoughts on it. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.